One of the main reasons that humans, unlike other animals, take so long to grow into adulthood is the brain actually takes so long a time to complete its development. So what's actually going on here in the brain? Well, there are two types of brain development. One is physical, in that initially the neurons grow and later areas like the prefrontal cortex develop. The other is experience, so the development of things like social interactions and perceptions of the environment. Most of the time these factors are dependent upon one stage being complete before the other can begin properly. So why then is a baby not born with a fully developed and functioning brain? Well, a couple of factors here. First is growth. Now, although the baby's head is the part of the body which physically expands the least as it progresses into adulthood, it still does grow significantly in size. The other area is of overload. Putting all of the information into the brain at once will just create more problems than it's solved. In some ways it works like a computer in that you build the basic model, then install some operating software, then maybe add some speakers and a microphone, then install the software to operate them, then upgrade the memory, then install the antivirus software, then add some voice recognition software, then connect it to the internet. Now if you try doing all of this at once, a number of problems would conflict with each other and the computer would probably crash. So the consequences for the brain would be even more severe than that. So a baby has over a hundred billion neurons in it. And the brain, most of these are partially formed though. The key stage in the early development is linking them up with other neurons to perform pathways. Now it's these pathways that then enable the baby to perceive its environment. Until this happens, really, the baby can't see more than half a metre away from itself. Now, as the baby experiences things, this establishes preferred pathways, enabling them to interact with the world, so the vision enables them to coordinate with their hands and grab hold of an object. This leads to other movement functions and language development. The brain now undergoes a curious development, as those connections which are hardly ever used are actually removed and deleted, meaning the brain becomes more set and less flexible, but more able to focus in on issues. It's this time where a lot of the patterns which we keep into adulthood are formed generally happens from the ages from 3 to 10, which is why this is a key development in education and development and affects you for the rest of your life. So the teenage brain is now able to more focus than the younger brain. It's also now wanting to take greater control over its actions and direct its ability to process information is almost the same as an adult brain, in some ways better as it's slightly more flexible and adaptable to new ways of thinking. However, there are two key areas of the brain which are still developing. There's the parietal cortex and the prefrontal cortex. Now, the parietal cortex helps with a lot of skills and has a marked effect on things like pairing of the senses, so hearing and sight, things like that, and combining those with movement and things like dramatically improving eye-hand coordination and the ability to multitask, which is why things like sport and painting improve at this age. Now the final part of the brain, which isn't sometimes fully developed until you're about 25, is the prefrontal cortex, which governs things like the analysis of risks, risk, planning and the establishment of social control. It's why actions like drinking too much, driving too fast, risky sexual practices, violent conflict and criminal activities can take place in young people, not in the same person as a fully grown adult. Quite often an adult might say to you, do you not realise how stupid that was? When actually a more accurate statement might be that the person didn't realise how risky that was, because that hasn't yet developed fully in the brain. So that's how the brain generally develops from baby to adult in a very brief summary.